We're now going to import a PDF, which isn't a, a digital PDF, but that's okay, it's a rastered, into our file to be able to use as a scale reference. So I'm going to import this one called site. And we, if we zoom in, we see it's very pixelated. And so this isn't going to be 100% accurate, uh, but that's okay. It's going to be very useful for what we're trying to achieve. Now to rescale this, we need to have a size. Now what I would normally do, and you may have seen on another video, is that I'd often use a dimension as the scale representation. And that works very well, except in this case, I don't know what that says. So what we're going to use instead, we're going to use here this paper scale. And so this says 150. So let's change this to edit, reshape, sorry. I've selected the file, so it's green. Edit, reshape, resize. I will define graphically, and I'm going to stretch this from 13 up to 15,000. Now the result of this means that we're ending up with about two meters from lift to lift or an internal lift size of 1.4 by 1.6. So we're going to assume for the sake of this academic project that that's fine and to scale and, and from our measurements taken on site that, that seems pretty much right anyway. Now this is our scale drawing. If this was a vector-based PDF, we could do this perfectly uh, and we could then explode this and be able to use some of the lines that we had. In this case, because it's rastered and it's a very low res image, we're not going to be able to do that. So from here on in, everything we're going to do, be doing is a little bit fictitious, but that's okay. Hopefully it can just be consistently fictitious uh, and, and we'll be able to use this. Of course, this is a fairly small drawing as well. We can import a, a large one over this, and this is where I'll start to use the worksheet more to explain how we can have a, a multiple overlay of these overlay layers.